Sunshines, welcome back and thanks for popping in and Heidi Ho for Mr. Milo. Today we're going to talk about some of the things that I love. Stickers and note cards and pens and journals. These are a few of my favorite things. See what I did there? Love me because I'm cheesy. Anyway, all of those things that I just sang about are typically in these boxes. And that's what we're going to take a look at today, the journal junk boxes for April 2024. Now, if you're unfamiliar with journal junk box, I think you're going to love them. Whether you're a stationary lover, you're a journaling person, or you love to paper craft, these boxes are going to be for you. And they have lots of ways you can subscribe. So if your budget's a little tighter, you can dive into the journal junk sack. Typically, we get four to five items in here and it's a nice little way like I said to dip your toe into the journal junk box world I really like this box but if you want to go a little bit deeper they have what I call the big mammer jammer now that is not a journal junk box term it is a Christy term however they do call this the box now this one has got a lot of bang for your buck we usually get around eight to eleven items in here in addition to all those great stationary items, there's usually a lifestyle item thrown in, which is nice. Now, both of these boxes are going to have the same theme, but different items inside. So if you're like, I want both of them, I can't decide, she will allow you to bundle and get both of them. It's $71.95, so you get a little bit of a break there and a discount, plus she gives you discounted shipping, which is nice. Um, then she has what she calls her creative kids box. Now I don't show a lot of kids boxes on the channel, but this is so good. If you have kids in your life, if you have nieces and nephews you need a present for, or you're a mama who's looking for some activities for the summer, look into this one because it is so well done and it is $37.99. It really teaches kids how to write and journal and express their feelings and it's done with all of their favorite things like puffy paints and markers and stickers and notebooks and all kinds of really cool things. I love this box. Now, if after watching all of these unboxings, if you want to try out Journal Junk Box, there's two ways you can do that. The first way is you can use my discount code for 15% off, which I will link down below. However, right now, if you get a six or a 12 month subscription to any of the boxes, she's giving you 50% off your first box. So I'll have both of those codes linked down below in case you wanna check them out. We're gonna go ahead and unbox. As we do though, if you like what you see, consider hitting that subscription button and giving this video a thumbs up. All right, so the first box we're gonna talk about, or actually it's a bag, is a journal junk sack. How cute is this in a mailbox amongst all your bills, right? You get a little happy. I love journal junk box because they are on it. Typically, we get our boxes before the beginning of the month or right on the first or the second of the month. So it comes really, really quickly. It's always the first subscription box I get of the new month. So it's fun. All right. Now, inside, she always has it wrapped in this bubble wrap. Let me make sure there's nothing in here. It's empty. And it looks like this. So it all comes together. Now, I did drop my glasses, so I'm going to grab them. Hang on. I got them. All right, so let's see what is inside this little pack. Don't wanna drop anything. All right, so the first thing we have is just a little card. If you like to junk journal, or you can put this in a scrapbook, a note card, stick it up on your vanity. It says, my life is filled with purpose, passion, and endless possibilities. I love that little bird, kind of vintage on that little teacup. Isn't that sweet? That's something that you could journal with. That would be a good journal prompt. Okay, then we have our card, which basically tells you everything I've already shared with you. This particular theme is vintage coffee, and she does give us four journal prompts. So whether you're like, gosh, I really wanna start journaling, but I don't know where to start, you can start with those. Or I would imagine if you're journaling every single day, you probably need some prompts sometimes. I'm sure you run out of things to talk about. So I love that she does this. She tells us what's in the sack and then she gives us some journaling tips. That looks new. I've never seen her do that before. She talks about using a decorative paper background. How neat. Okay, so that's that. All right, so the first thing that we have in here looks like this pack of vintage coffee stickers. How fun are these? All right, hold on. I'm pulling them out. Gosh, there's gotta be 
40 stickers in here, if I had to guess. They keep coming out of this little bag. There's like lattes, and by the way, I don't know how many of you love Starbucks, but Starbucks has these lavender drinks now, and I get the iced chai latte, and one of the girls at work said, you've got to get the lavender cold foam, and I did. Ooh, little baby angels were singing all around my cup. <laughs> Y'all, they were so good. So we've got several little coffee. Oh, look at that old percolator. I remember my grandmother having one of those. So all kinds of fun little vintage, little coffee bag stickers. So whether you like to scrapbook card make, be a cute card for somebody. Look at this one, how fun. So a little tag sticking out of that. But look how many, you guys, look how many stickers there are. Like I said, there's gotta be 40 at least. This one says quality drinks coffee. There's a little, what is this one? It's got a little donut. Really sweet. Oh, this one's got a kitty. Doesn't look like Milo, but that's okay. How cute is this little kitty sticking out? Anyway, so we got that whole big pack of stickers. We got a really pretty kind of marble looking pen. Nice. And I always rave about their pens. They just start out writing beautifully right off the top. Okay, ooh, look at this. We got a card with a little pocket for a tea bag. Now, what a fun idea is this. I have seen these one other time before and I thought it was so, so clever. So this one says, tea makes everything better and it's got the little vintage bird. And then this is a little tea bag that comes out. So it's kind of a card and a gift all in one. This is a Jasmine Blossom Tea by Stash. And let's see if it's blank inside. Yeah, it's just a blank card with an envelope. So if you want to send out, I'm thinking about you, or I hope you are getting better soon, whatever. That's really, really sweet. Okay, then we also have a bookmark. And on this bookmark, she does give you some more journaling prompts which is nice, journal prompts for growth. It says, I'll give you an example of one. What is your best quality? Nice, tell me down below, what is your best quality? And then last but not least, we have this little um, journal. It says, be patient with yourself. Very good advice. It says, nothing in nature blooms all year. That's a great way to think about life, isn't it? You're gonna bloom certain times of the year and you're gonna kind of be dormant underneath the surface of the soil things are still happening but maybe not the time frame you're looking for the pages are this really creamy color nice and i like the soft back it's easy to just throw in a bag and go so that was the sack i thought it was really good i can't believe how many stickers we got i love the notebook i love the pen i think the card is just darling i love to have a set of note cards all right next we're going to move on to the journal junk box and I told you a few months ago, she went away from the decorative box and she just went to these white boxes. I have been hoarding these white boxes because they're perfect to put birthday presents in, Christmas presents, you know when you have an on-shaped item and don't have a box? I've been storing these and keeping them. So if you do get the subscription, maybe do the same thing. I'm trying to open it. This box though, I will tell you, is a little difficult. All right, so here we go. So you see the card has the same exact theme as the sack, vintage coffee for April. But in this box, we're gonna get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items. Okay, we have the same little card. So I can keep one and gift one. This would even be cute to go inside of this card. You could send it. All right, she always does a little polka dot tissue. I like when a box is consistent like that. Like we always get the same tissue. It's very nostalgic and nice, comforting. Okay, so we got a little sign. This is our lifestyle item. It says, but first, coffee. I do have a little coffee bar for my husband. I'm not a coffee drinker, I'm a tea drinker. But how adorable is that? So fun. All right. The next thing we got, oh, is a different pack of coffee stickers. So these are different from the ones we got in the stack. Look at this one. 
and they are very vintage. This reminds me of how I like my hot chocolate, a little hot chocolate with a lot of whipped cream on the top. <laughs> this one looks like it's got some mint. My daughter collects vintage teacups. I feel like that would be one that she would have loved. All kinds. I'm just kind of digging down in here. There's some cookies and some ones with fun marshmallows on the top. Again, there's got to be 40 or 50 different stickers on here. So again, whether you card make, you junk journal, you scrapbook, you could use these for anything. There's so many stickers. I mean, tons of them. Okay. Let's put those to the side. So many that I was dropping them. The next thing we got in here, ooh, a coffee soft bread. Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> these are pens. I thought we got a snack and I was getting so excited, but how clever is the packaging? It looks like a little latte, but I think there's three pens in here. It says they're black ink. Oh, there's four. Nice. Okay, let's look. And they're all the colors of latte. Do you take your coffee darker or do you take it with a lot of cream and make it really light? My husband likes his strong and black and I could never, I could never do that. They have the little protectors. Do you remember the old school like pocket protectors the guys would wear in the 70s or 80s? Do y'all remember that? That's what this is giving me. How cool. It's definitely retro and two of them have little hearts. I don't know if they're showing right here. And I like the little grippies. These are nice. Just a basic black ink. Okay. So we got that. Again, that package was super clever. Oh, the next thing we have are these cute little bows. Bows are everywhere, aren't they? The girls are wearing them in their hair. It's so fun and girly. And these are pretty. So you can put this as a bookmark on the top of your book or I use these a lot of times on the top of my planner so I know exactly the page that I need to flip toward or two. I love that emerald green. Aren't these colors pretty though? Lovely. Okay. <gasps> Whoa! We got a pair of gorgeous little snips here. How beautiful. I can't tell if it's a floral mo motif or a dragon going up the side there, right here. They're so pretty. I think it's a floral motif, but they've got the little guard on them. So these are great for paper crafting because you can get into the corners and snip off what you need to, but you've got a nice big handle so they're easy to manipulate. You can get into the corners. These are beautiful, aren't they? I love getting that in here. But wait, there's more. So this one has a tea card in it also, but this one was the stash pomegranate cranberry. It says, you're just my cup of tea. Oh my goodness, I have to think of two special people to send this to. My mom loves tea, so one of them will go to my mom for sure. Beautiful. Okay, there's still more down in here, y'all. The next thing is give yourself time to grow. Now, this one is different than the one that we got in the sack, but they look like they're the same family. So you see, if you get both of them for that discounted price of the discounted shipping, similar items, but not the same. I actually really love this one with the daisies and the pen and the cup of tea. I like this vintage theme that she's got going on. Isn't it pretty? And it looks like maybe um, she made these. They say journal junk on the back. Again, do they have that creamy paper? Yeah, the creamy, pretty paper. Okay. I think there's one more item in here. Yes, there is. And this is by Brighton. This makes my little heart go pitter patter. It is a paper pack. So like I said, whether you scrapbook, you card make, you junk journal, so beautiful. You have little kids that all of a sudden at the last minute tell you they have a project due. These things came in so handy when my kids were in school. I'm gonna snip, oops, I have the guard on it. I'm gonna snip this so we can take a look at the papers inside. Okay, I'll just show you a few. Got that gorgeous green. 
You know, that looks like solid pink on the camera. I don't know if I spin it out. There's a little white kind of diamond print to it. That is beautiful. That's pretty too. I like to take lighter papers like this and I'll mat a photo like on a scrapbook page, but these would make lovely cards too. Polka dot. Ooh, I love that one. Oh, that one too. Wow, there's some pretty ones in here. I like that this one's kind of rainbow. This one's pretty. Anyway, I'll kind of give you a shot of all of the pages in the back here. Does it say how many? 36 pieces. Ooh, look at this bird one. Let me see if I can find it. There's a metallic. Is this it? Yeah, look at this one. Where's the bird on it? Hold on right there. I love the metallics on here. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. Okay, so we got the paper pack. That was it for the sack. Really, really lovely. And then last, let's take a look at the Creative Kids Journaling Box. Before I do though, I wanted to mention that Journal Junk Box, if you're not a pen and paper girl, they have a digital subscription. It's only $4.95 a month. It is called their Prompt nest and within that you get 30 journaling prompts you get some self-care tips but some of them are more like workbook sheets and fun little games that you can play with yourself and then you also get something else i wrote it down i love it it's done so so oh, printables you get some printables in there which is really nice too so 4.95 that's super budget friendly if you're more of a digital girly you might want to check that out all right but let's talk about the kids creative journaling box, $37.99 for this one. It comes just like this. Now, I've said before that I feel like this one skews a tiny bit more girly, um, but if my daughter got this, I've also said this before, and my son saw it, he would want to get in on the action too. You know what I mean? <laughs> so when we open it up, I love this because it's great if you have a restaurant bag, if you're going on a car trip, this is stuff that you can pack too. And it says, Eco Adventures are the April theme. Kind of has a little superhero, a gardener. It's got a journaling map and a eco scavenger hunt. It says, find and sketch and write about the things in your scavenger hunt. So see, they take them on a little scavenger hunt, like find a leaf with an interesting shape, something that can be recycled, a plant or flower you haven't noticed before, an insect doing something interesting, and a spot, or spot a unique bird and describe its colors. So these are all journaling prompts that you can get your kids like writing every day and just have fun. Maybe you sit down together and y'all draw a picture of maybe an imaginary bird and something that it was doing interesting and you can write about it. So kids feel comfortable writing. Um, so we've got all that. They also have some little tips for parenting and how you can get your kids journaling. A little bit more information here. I always like this. It says fueled with happy thoughts. And this is their uh, Moodoscope. And it's got a bunch of different moods. I think it's really important for kids to be able to identify their moods and let them know it's okay that they're feeling the way they do. You just have to act appropriately. You know, if you're angry, it's okay to feel anger. You just have to, you know, act appropriately. Anyway, there is that. And then it says creative kids write. I like this because the owner of this box has girls and they help her curate this box. And I think that's so great. They even help her pack them. So she's teaching her girls early how to be entrepreneurs. Oh, it says Happy Earth Day. And you can actually color this bag. It's eco-friendly. Isn't that neat? So we've got the bag and then you color it. That's clever. I've never seen anything like this before. It's... It's not just like um, brown paper like you'd get from a bag at the store. It's coated with something, but it's definitely going to take like a marker or a crown very easily. That is lovely. I love the bright green. You could like have them color and then maybe take them on a picnic to the park or something like that or take them to find that interesting leaf or insect for their scavenger hunt. All right, the next thing we have in here is a cone flower grow kit. My kids loved growing 
And my son especially, believe it or not, he loved things like this and he would put them on his windowsill. He treated them like they were his babies. If he went to summer camp, he would be so upset and be writing letters home wondering about how his little cacti or his bonsai tree was going. So we have a little grow kit. How adorable. Do you see why I think this is so good for kids? They get a lot of practical things in here about all things kids like. Oh, I want these. <laughs> They're little um, page flags or paper clips that are in the shape of birds. So they can put them if they're starting to read chapter books, which a lot of the kids would be doing. Um, I would say this is definitely from like five to what, 11 or 12 maybe. Um, they can put them in their books, their notebooks, whatever. So you get five little birds here. We have some silly sense smash ups, washable markers. So these are perfect to um, color on their bag. And look at the scents. It looks like s'mores. That looks like a raspberry macaron, maybe mint chocolate ice cream, some kind of strawberry something. Oh, it says red velvet cake. These are the scents of the markers. Red velvet cake, res raspberry macaroon, upside down cake, strawberry shortcake, mint chocolate chip, key lime pie, bring it on, berry smoothie, fluffernutter, s'more, and caramel macchiato. And they're washable love okay then they've got a little notebook and this is perfect for earth day too so it's got a little earth with a smile it's got their notebook they can put their name on it a little sunshine isn't that sweet look at the back print it also says journal junk so they must have come up with these now were ours in the um the adult boxes were more creamy pages these are more white so they can write. But you see why I say you could throw this down in a travel bag or at a restaurant or something and have the kids ready to go. Oh, look. Okay, they got a stencil. So they can stencil in their notebook, maybe a bug, and then write about it, color it. How beautiful. This is a good box this month. It's always a good box. Okay, we have something else. I'm not sure what this is. Let's take the cap off and see. Oh, it's just a, pe it's a pen, but I think it's made out of wood. It's like a recyclable pen. Even the cap is biodegradable. Isn't that cool? Let me see if I can read about this because I'm interested in this pen. I think I put the card down here. It says, that use it to doodle and write all things helping the planet by reducing waste is an eco-friendly pen how neat that was a really cool box they got the notebook the eco-friendly pen the paper clip set the silly markers the bag the stencil and the grow kit good right so anyway like i said if you want to check out any of the journal junk box subscriptions you can use my discount code for 15 percent off or if you get a six or 12 month subscription. And I always forget to tell you guys this, if you get a six or 12 month subscription, you don't have to pay for it all up front. You're just billed monthly. You can get 50% off your first box. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I have a big goal this year I'm trying to meet. We're gonna see if we can do it. And I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Bye-bye, guys.